letting you ask now it's cutting you off no no charming sophie so what am i doing just introducing well judging by the way you just said intra producing (laughs) no (laughs) don't worry about it (laughs) see jim that's how you do it you just fuck it up and then they're not going to ask me again are they so maybe you should do it mate okay well welcome to the pacifist podcast (laughs) oh well done it's, it's got to be said pretty, pretty simple. It's like one line. Mushi busted yeah. it straight. Anyway, we've got Mushi. Hi. We've got Jeeves. Hi. And the horror toad herself, Sophie. Hi. Hi. For most feminine, uh, you'll hear me. <laughs> true that. Everybody. Unless I sneeze. <laughs> yeah, um, you have, you have so, got quite a ladylike sneeze, I'll give you that. Step on the mouse. Got, I mean, <laughs> anyway um so today we are well we're actually going to ask sophie a bunch of questions um because she was lazy last week and decided not to fucking join us she was poorly Ooh. anyway i mean it's so difficult to have a chat when you're ill isn't it ridiculous absolutely ridiculous anyway uh, and we're going to catch up on uh, a lot of the wonderful comments that you guys have been putting out there um because some of them I think require a bit of chitter chatter. Um, uh, but yeah, they probably don't Sophie. require it. They're just going to get it. That's pretty Very much what point. this podcast is. Absolutely, that's, ex- right. that's exactly what this podcast is. It's exactly mm. it. Yeah, a lot of unnecessary jibber jabber. I think when when we were talking about setting it up, it was basically like let's just throw our opinions around and see who we can annoy or upset or amuse or anything. Yeah, I keep right. I keep saying controversial things like I'm pro fox hunting. Nobody bites. It's like nobody gives a fuck. I'm surprised we clearly outed someone as a Nazi <laughs> last <laughs> week or the week before. Not one single comment has come back about it. No. <laughs> Just quietly accepting the fate. Well, you know what? If the cat fits. Yeah. You know, some people are, some people aren't. It's not a choice. It's how you're born. <laughs> 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 that's either Nazis or homosexuals I can't remember but it certainly applies to one of them could it not be both hmm could be no, it probably it. isn't though no well uh, that's a fair point anyway jumping straight in Sophie bucket list what have you what's on your list and if you say we just want to drive around the racetrack well I'm quite intrigued for this because um <laughs> the thing is, Sophie's, done, Sophie's done quite a lot of traveling she's probably the, the best traveled of us so, yeah. in a world of travel-related bucket lists, I'm quite intrigued to see what Sophie's got left on hers. Is it okay. travel when you're thrown in a crate and just shipped to another country? I suppose it is, isn't it? What are you trying to say? Getting deported. Well, yeah, well, yeah, or oh, imported. <laughs> <laughs> Balticbitches.com, isn't that where you hail from? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me get my chickens on you. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm not worried about the chickens. It was Mushu who was. <laughs> be loving life. Bite him down. Just mm. another bird, isn't it, though, Andy? That's it. Another one for my connect- collection. <laughs> well, oh, dear. Yeah, sorry. Distractions aside. Wait, have you got anything on your bucket list that you'd like to do that you haven't already done? There is travelling that I would like to do, but I won't bore you with that because you've had plenty of it already. No, go um, on. Where, where do you want to go? Huh? Where do you East, want to go? Easter Island is one of the places I'd love oh, to go. Good shout. Yeah. No trip there. Do, um, do you not think, though, sorry, just quickly, um, <laughs> that's enough out of you, Sophie. Time for me to talk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs> no, with Easter Island, do you not think it's one of those sort of places where you get there and obviously you're going there to see the heads? Um, yeah. I'd challenge you now to name me one other thing that's on Easter Island. Nothing, mate. That's the problem. <laughs> well, this, is the, this is the thing. You're going to get there. You're going to be like, whoa, fucking big. So underwhelmed. <laughs> I'm done. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, point, point in case, I've always wanted to see a natural geezer erupting, yeah? Geezer. Oh, I thought you meant a geezer. I'd be like, I could do that for you, mate. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, <laughs> <pastas, laughs> all, all bearded up. Hey. 
No. <laughs> no, I always wanted to see a geezer erupting, right, in, in nature. Um, yeah. So when I was in Iceland, we planned to go and see this geezer. Um, we've read up on it. It could be like a 20-minute wait because it goes off every 20 minutes. We're like, that's fine. It might be fucking freezing, but we're going to stand there until it goes off. We walked up this big old footpath, got there. Literally, as we got there to the ropes, went, I was like, oh, that was impressive. Let's go. And that was it. <laughs> literally like fucking 45 seconds, something like that. I'm so bad with tourist attractions and shit like that. But and, uh, you're not alone, mate. I, I've been to a few places. Um, I went to I went to Turkey and I saw all of those incredible buildings in Istanbul, um, like the Blue Mosque or whatever it's fucking called. And I actively remember having this thought after I looked at it. I was like, how long's the right amount of time before I can say, so should we go then? <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I gave it a yeah. solid 30 seconds. Like, wow, that's a dome with a point. I mean, that's some impressive shit. And then I was just like, so, go get coffee? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm very much the same. Sometimes I'll take a picture and think, like, I'll just have a look at the picture when I go, like, when I get to Pizza Hut or something like that. Um, oh, you see, I don't do that. I'm not, I, I, I hate that. <laughs> what? what? No, 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 no. It doesn't have to be Pizza no, Hut. No. It could be Burger King. Oh, well, that's now, now you're talking, Mushu. Because <laughs> as it happens, <laughs> I don't like Pizza Hut. But that's a totally different story. Um, no, the you know when you go to a gig, well probably not you. I mean they didn't have camera phones when you were gigging. Um but you know when you go to one and everybody's there with their phones up, just recording it, I'd be like, people, why don't you just fucking watch it and remember it? There's, if I want to watch the band do it live, I could just type into YouTube band playing song live. But mm. yeah, I think um the the guy from City in Colour, do you know the band City in Colour? Wow, that's a resounding silence. <laughs> Absolutely. I think, and now I, I, I might fuck this up, but I think it might be the lead singer from Alexis on Fire. Okay. Do you know them? Yes, I do know them. But, okay, well, it's, it's a lovely band. Um, he's done some beautiful spot, um, beautiful music to kill yourself to. You know, like um, he, there was a song called Body in a Box. Absolutely stunning. Um, and he did a live performance. Oh, pardon me. It's like I'm drinking fizzy drink, but I've just got a cup of coffee. Anywho, um, he did a performance. He's like, oh, guys, put your phones away. There's hundreds of copies of this online. You can just watch it on there if you want to. But, you know, put your phones down and just enjoy the moment sort of thing. It's like, that's right. That's the way it should be. It's a, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, no, I don't do that. I look first, Mushu, and then if it's that good, I'll take a picture. Mount um, GoPro to your forehead. Well, you could do. This is what I ended up doing in the end. Just took my GoPro everywhere with me. And just shut your eyes. Ah, look at this later. Go <laughs> on. Well, annoyingly, I didn't realise. I didn't. I did the typical bloke thing when I bought it. I bought it and a shitload of attachments. It wasn't a GoPro. It was a very cheap. A Jomo. <clears throat> yeah, like that. But it worked yeah. fine, and it it is good. Um, the problem is, I didn't read anything. So when I got back, I've looked at all this footage from like six <laughs> days, and it's all upside down. Like all uh, of the files uh, are upside down. Uh, so, not the end of the world but it just means i have to now rotate each of the files separately and there's fucking hundreds of them so what oh, i do now is i just lie on the bed and hang my head up right. down like that to look at them <laughs> like a bat <laughs> yeah so sorry anyway <laughs> easter island yeah okay yes. so you go there how long would you spend there incidentally <laughs> Probably not even a day. I mean, do they, do they have a cafe and a gift shop? Because that would drag it out. They've got there. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they they got to have something. Statues Don't they have? Of... I'm pretty sure they have like a stupid population of about seven people on Easter Island. Don't they? Or well, I, think it's a different one. I think they're the statues. There might be a few more people. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it when you're approaching, but in reality, they're made of stone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, is it true that they've got bodies as well? Because I saw no. and I, I thought they did. I'm, you see, I'm fairly sure I've read an article about them excavating one of them and them having bodies yeah. that go down quite a way. Jeeps. Uh, well, I've just googled the population is seven thousand seven hundred 
and 50 people apparently living on the island. I knew there was a seven. <laughs> I'm actually uh, quite impressed that she got the seven bit right. <laughs> There's nothing there. They haven't even got trees. I mean, they've probably got quite a few confused tourists wandering around trying to kill some time. That, that's going to help. <laughs> yeah. But you could do anything. Just like throw fucking wet sponges at Sam uh, for half an hour, 30 quid. And people would be like, well, it would drag the day out a bit, wouldn't it? You know, we've seen the yeah, same. I mean, no. That's pretty good. It's better than a sock full of cum. Um, Allegedly. Now I've just realised I said that. I'm the only one of us who listens to Legion of Skanks, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah all of literally us only formed our opinion of you yeah yeah it's just something they 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 had on that they had like a a, a wheel of uh, punishment for somebody who did something um uh, and that was one of the punishments has it got a body yeah. well shit the bed spit out your apparently so there you go I, I swear i watched the documentary not long ago where they showed how they put the heads there Obviously not. It's watching something else. Certainly wasn't how they do or how do they do that? But then yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, okay, so Easter Island, yeah, that's apparently they have um they have known about them having bodies since nineteen fourteen. And we've just told the world they have bodies. I mean it took that long for the information to go global. You're have welcome. We? Well. Have we? We're throwing around some big words there. We've just told the world yeah, I mean, it's taken this long to go global. Yeah, Sam think... was the last person not to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true that. I didn't know. I genuinely thought they were just heads and stones. I really, I, I would have bet money on that. You could have got a whole solid English pound out of me for that. Heads on stones? Yeah. Heads, heads on stones. Stone. No, no. Heads on top of stones. Well, like snowmen. Well, yeah, why not? I mean, we'll, uh, Emma, well. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Eastern <laughs> Island is just one random Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so there we go then. We, we're going to Easter Island. What else are we doing, Safe? See, I'd love to go to the Great Wall of China. And then that leads me to do I want to go see the Seven Wonders of the World? Don't know. Hey. Can you name the seven wonders of the world? No, <laughs> that's why I ask. Do I want to? See, I always. <laughs> I don't the, know them. They can't be that important. Hey. Sorry, me. I always get mixed up between the modern and the ancient wonders of the world. Because you got the modern ones, uh, you know. Because you got like the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, are one of the ancient seven ancient wonders. Uh, the Alexander Lighthouse of Alexander. Or Alexandria, that's another one, something like Have that. Have you just been playing that, that Sid Meier's Ancient Civilization and you're just taking it all from there? <laughs> oh, I have a wealth of knowledge. Craft this is behind the facade of an idiot. <laughs> Sophie, how, yes? dare you, how dare you give his source of information out to the world? <laughs> <laughs> it's only because I recognise it. <laughs> Right, can we between us name all seven wonders of the world? Jeeves, if you're Googling it right now and you get all seven of them really quickly, we'll know why. Um, uh, I haven't Googled them. Oh, okay. Well, I know Ayers Rock and the wall, that big fucking wall. Is Ayers Rock one? I'm pretty sure it is. It was. Right, well, what happens to this? You say it confidently and all of a sudden it's true. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think it is. Um, because they no, you've got the um, the crypt of Hypernon, Hypernion or something like that. You have got the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. You have got the Lighthouse of Alexandria. You have got there's a library of somewhere Constantinople, the Library of Constantinople, I think. But that's I not a place anymore. I might just be making all these places up. Who knows? This is the beauty. Yeah. Okay, how about this? Why don't we uh, go back on that? Jeeps! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll it... just get it up to see if Andy was right on any of them. Okay, go on. Uh, These are the ancients. Pyramid of Giza, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, uh, Statue of Zeus, uh, on, there's a temple of some sort, I'm not even going to attempt that one, uh, Colossus oh. of Rhodes, 
uh, Lighthouse of Alexandra. And there's another one that I can't fucking pronounce and I'm not even going to try because I'll butcher it. Okay. Oh, and, and Ayers Rock definitely isn't one then, no? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what about the needles? Are they on there? <laughs> That's the one he couldn't pronounce. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I was, I was sure that was one of them. And I always wondered as well, it's just like, it's not very man-made, is it? It's like the Great Wall of China, definitely built by man. Air's Rock. It always always stumped me a little bit. It turns out it's not one of them. That's why. That's why. Yeah. Awesome. But you'd want to visit anyway. So Sophie could just be literally being shown anything because she doesn't actually yeah, know. Yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. Sure, it just looks like a skip to me. No, 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 no. This is the mystical box of Pandora. I was like, oh, right. Yeah. But it's what got yellow, yellow lines on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, so people don't bump into it. Health and safety. Important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I would, like to go, I would like to see the pyramids, but I've heard that mm. um, the pyramids look amazing, but then if you turn to, like, the left or right, it's just garbage. Just the pyramids are amazing in photos, I think. It's um, yeah, it's very dirty it's the home. area. I'd like to see the Sphinx as well. Sphinx, I'm sorry to say it, isn't it? What you said, Sphinx. 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 I'd like to see this. What? <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to see a sink. <laughs> I'm not going to comment. Yeah, I'd like to visit the Sphinx as well. That's always and been close. You broke up then, what? Oh, that's lucky. Don't worry. <laughs> I wasn't being funny. Yeah, I'd quite like to do Egypt as well. What, what's um, your take yeah. on the pyramids? What Who? do you think they are? They're big triangles. Okay, a very geometrical answer from you. You're welcome. So, I think me and you have discussed this before, haven't we? Possibly. About it. I can't remember specifics, but it's something, it was their source of, it was their own battery. This is yeah. This is what yeah. I'm thinking. It was a they were a form of energy. Yeah, yeah. What kind of energy? <laughs> I don't know what they would call it. Hydro? Hyd no, I don't know. It's energy from the earth. But they've worked out that um, I was watching documentaries on it, which so it must be true, right? Um, <laughs> but the stone that <laughs> was, like, was it the one that Sam watched about the Easter Island heads having no bodies? No, definitely yeah, fucking maybe, maybe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the stone okay. that the pyramids Question. are built out of is yeah. conductive, right? It conducts electricity um, because it's very porous and it soaks. It has a, a certain water um, content, if you know what I mean, and it it conducts electricity. The, the you know, it's that, very dry. What? Well. I mean, they're in the desert. Take into account the water chambers that sit underneath the pyramids. There's, there's submerged lakes and stuff like that, uh, runoff chambers from the Nile and stuff. And what they reckon this. What? No, you, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm, just wait, I'm waiting for, for him to disappear and come back with a tinfoil hat. I can't remember enough of this <laughs> to argue the point. And it I'm was a to. long time ago that we were on about it. <laughs> Yeah. Jeeves, I was about to go to my kitchen and get a roll of foil <laughs> just to do that. <laughs> to be fair, at least she's not going down the same route as uh, Stargate and they're like fucking spaceships. What What I'm going to say is just Google it. They are big batteries and that's how they used to power their spaceships. They used to be covered in gold. They had huh? gold over them. They had, they, they had like gold caps over the top, didn't they? Many, 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 many thousands of years ago. They were like covered they were, in gold. They were plated. They had sort of like plates all the way up them of, um, I can't remember what it was, possibly granite, um, which is non-conductive. It's really like very non-conductive stone. And the, the idea I mean, was... Most, most, what? No, carry on. The idea I was... was going to say, most like, rocks are renowned for not being conductive of electricity, isn't it? It's, uh, like historically, rock... Not really good for electronics. <laughs> what, what about rock with uh, heavy sort of metal elements to it? Yeah, well, those heavy metal elements, they're fine, but Meteoric they're not rock. wired. 
Yeah, but they're not built out of that. It, there's, there's a quarry nearby where it's all come from. <laughs> they're built out of sandstone and stuff like that, aren't they? Yeah. Not exactly renowned for conducting electricity, is it? Okay, is it? So we're going to... should, should, should we leave this be for now? Go oh, no. research. No, so, so that he can... I was once covered in a white um, polished limestone. Beautiful. Close enough, Andy. There you go. It's basically what granite. Is limestone conducted. Yeah. <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. See, we're arguing the same point here. It was the rock inside the limestone that was conducted. Lining the passageways and underground tunnels, the pyramid is granite. Hey. Slightly radioactive. Oh, there we go. It was probably nuclear energy I was thinking of then. Uh, and it's well... Oh, oh, oh that explains oh. um, it. <laughs> electricity. What? I'm not reading it again. <laughs> but that a, last bit sounded like it was going to prove me right. Type of electricity. <laughs> Thank you. No, I didn't hear it either. You spoke over him. Jeeves, one more time. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, uh, is a well-known conductor of piezo electricity. Uh, uh, piezo electricity occurs as a result of stress or pressure pressure on the quartz, uh, as demonstrated by quartz wristwatches. Uh, quartz. quartz. Quartz, thank you. Uh, which can be charged simply by shaking them. So what? If you want to charge your watch, just wanks off a fucking <laughs> pyramid, make a static charge, does it? That's why there's so many obelisks. <laughs> <laughs> They're easier than pyramids. Well, look, I am as always skeptical as fuck. Bullshit. Oh, I spat everywhere. <laughs> That's how passionate I was about it. <laughs> well, normally I'm quite sceptical, but like I say, I watched this documentary on <coughs> YouTube and it was, <laughs> and I'm now I think I think my opinion's right and probably more right than the majority of yours. So we'll leave it there. <laughs> what I do like about the pyramids though is that they've got uh like passages that sort of chart the stars, don't they? I believe, because they're burial chambers, aren't they? I mean, you can believe whatever the fuck you want about electricity, battery, and powering nothing. Um, uh, that, But I'm sure there's, like, but, passage that from where the sarcophaguses are. That sounded like a weird sentence. Is it sarcophagi? Was there ever any sarcophagi found in the pyramids? Well, they all got robbed, didn't they? Of the actual sarcophagus? There's no evidence to say that they were tombs, apparently. I'm feeling woefully unprepared for this subject matter, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I like to know what we're doing in advance. I can Google shit beforehand. I can watch myself some YouTube videos and get on board. It's like, funny oh, how you say that? something with confidence it's... and everyone else shakes. Well, I'm, not, I don't... I'm not entirely sure that that's true, but I said it with confidence, so now you're wobbling. Well, it's absolutely fine, because uh, I think you're talking shit. <laughs> so, but either way. <laughs> There's holes that point up to stars. That I thought was pretty fucking cool. According to this, um, Here we go. there is a disturbing number of features about the um, Great Pyramid that this theory doesn't account for. The first is most obvious, uh, being that the Great Pyramid doesn't contain any of the things a real Egyptian tomb would, such as extravagant artefacts, ornate wall art, sealed entrances and elaborate coffins or even mummies. Well, I mean, fair enough. The plot thing. That makes, dun, 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 that makes dun. very pointless, though, doesn't it? It's like, what, what's the fucking point? I saw Sinbad. I always expected to be able to remove a rock and go in and there'd be, I don't know, some wizard in a fucking cage hung up on, above something with lightning. I mean, that's a very obscure Sinbad reference. It might even be something else. Jason and the Argonauts, perhaps? <laughs> God only knows. That is the... You get your fucking, you get all your uh, knowledge from YouTube. I get it from really bad um, uh, stop motion animation movies, which aren't bad at all. They're amazing. No. God bless Harry Housen. Rest his, God rest his soul. God rest his soul. God bless you, Governor. Right, go on then, Sophie. We've been to, um, 
we've had a massive argument over Egypt when we're out there. There's a guy. And believe us, it or not, it's the Great Wall of China that started that off. <laughs> Bravo. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> How long is the Great Wall of China? It's, that's one of those holidays that you can walk it and it takes a long time, doesn't it? It's not like... No, that's a know. whole day. You, you can't walk the entire length of the um, Great Wall of China. You can't? No, there are sections actually missing. <laughs> you pussy. Give me a post bag, I'll be on it in a day. Straight that up. Is, there, there are places that are completely derelict now, aren't there? Mm. I mean, you can walk the route, though, can't you? There's footpaths yeah. that walk the route of it. Yeah. Um, but isn't it over 1,000 miles long? <gasps> Shit, man, that's long. That is great. I mean... So, uh, you still want to walk it in a day? <laughs> no, no. Give me a week. Um, <laughs> wow. I bet Donald Trump saw that and was like, that's what we need. We need a Great Wall of America. Oh, could you just imagine that, though? Being in the Chinese army back then, you're like... Your station to outpost 2,423, like the one that's right on the sea looking out to the ocean. And then you're like, oh, we got a message for outpost one. Can you just run it down there quick? you are like, oh, for fuck's sake. You'd think they'd, pull up, they'd rig up a pulley system or a little train or something, wouldn't you? Well, having... didn't, they, didn't, didn't they have those boards that was like eight, eight white squares and you could turn them so it would go black? And then you can you send messages that way, a bit like in I want to say Lord of the Rings where they set fire to posts, but, but you could oh, actually send a message. Yeah, as a I post. know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, maybe I mean, they did. I actually. can't remember. How long ago was it that they that the Great Wall of China was in use? Did they have like ravens back then still that they used on a regular basis? Ravens. I think that's, yeah. ravens. that's um, I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. They could have had their own little Chinese, Japanese, whatever ravens. Dragons, isn't it? They're dragons. Or even dragons, yeah. yeah. Andy, how far did you say it was? Over a thousand <laughs> miles. Over a thousand. Yeah. Uh, try try thirteen thousand one hundred and seventy miles. Holy shit! That's fucking long, isn't it? That's quite. Yeah, that's quite a big wall. Yeah. Well. And I guess that answers my question. No, you fucking can't go on a holiday and walk it. Bloody hell, 13,000 miles. That's a long way, isn't it? Yeah, right. That's 21,196 kilometres. That Fuck. doesn't make it sound much better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeeves could do that in eight hours. Give his fucking car. <laughs> 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 holy shit that's so much bigger than i thought and i didn't realize i was so woefully ignorant of the world um uh, apparently i am though <laughs> well every day's an education mate don't worry about it yeah it is um right well sophie what are you gonna do when you get to the great wall of china not walk it obviously no maybe more, walk for a couple miles and then get bored and complain my feet hurt and then get a taxi back to the hotel I don't think there's a taxi service. Still, steals one of the blocks. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> they just get to the airport coming home. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Nothing. Don't you worry. <laughs> just like the look of it. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm just going to go chisel bits of all, like, all of the wonders of the world and just have them in like a little pile. Like, like that guy from uh, Saving Private Ryan that collects the little pots of soil. From each country that you yeah, liberate. Do it. What yeah. a wanker. What a wanker. What Tell you what? what, at my old job, before I started working with you guys, um, one of my colleagues actually asked for when I went to Brazil that I bring back some sand from Copacabana Beach for him. And I did. That's a very, she said, very she really, she, went, she forgot about it and went to PQ <laughs> when she got home. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't pay for it. Just go down Yavi. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's exactly what I would do. I'd just go scoop a handful up from Ride. Here you are, mate. Yeah, just, <laughs> just sort of fling it at him. Happy <laughs> sand. <laughs> What's this? It's one grain of sand, like you asked for, isn't it? A little baggy. <laughs> wow. What a shit press I'd rather have for this. Oh, my God. Okay, right. Well, Great Wall of China. What? So, that's that's your travelling. You want to do your seven wonders of the world, yeah? Yeah. 
we oh i'm carrying on i thought you were going to come like follow up with another question no. is there, um another place i would like to go to is one of the japanese um temples up in the mountains um mm. you know like the places that you see ronda rousey used to train before she was going up to a big up and coming fight um yeah. i'd love to go to one of them i don't necessarily have to do a fight camp there but i'd just love to visit i'd just would love you... to be in one of those temples and have just have a nosy would you not want to do the fight camp as well? It is your I'd love to. I would love to, but yeah. it's not a necessity. No, my luck, I'll probably go the wrong time of the year. What, where they don't let women in? <laughs> yeah, probably. <I> know. <laughs> when they're closed. <laughs> would be my luck, yeah. <laughs> Shut up for renovations. Shut up for renovations. They'll be like, oh, no, unfortunately, this is the season where you just walk up and down the stairs carrying buckets of water. Um, that's all you're allowed to do this time. Oh, shit. Go on, then. I'll do one trip. <laughs> like in Kill Bill. Would you, do, you, do you think you leave there being able to do the... What was it, like, a five pokes to the heart and then a twist, and all of a sudden the heart explodes? Isn't that Kung Fu Panda? Probably. That's, that's the pinky, isn't it? Yeah. Kadoosh! <laughs> You guys are very well versed with Kung Fu Panda, aren't you? I, me, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. How have you, why do you not watch Kung Fu Panda more? Isn't there like three of them now? Yeah, yeah. they're, they're I actually, great films. I don't have an answer for you, I'm afraid, Muji. Um I, I've seen it once. And You've that's it. As well. Is it Jack Black? Yeah. It is Jack Black. I like Jack Black as well. I think he's a very funny man. Well, they're one of those ones. They've got so many famous people in them. I, th- I want to say Martin Sheen's in it as well. Oh. I don't know if he is. <laughs> Brilliant. But I want to say that. I want to say Kevin Costner's in it, but he's definitely not. <laughs> Are you sure? Because he's in everything good. He should be. He should, should be. be. He should have been given the role. The, the lead role. <laughs> can't have everything, can you? No, you can't. So a fight camp in Japan then. Any non-travel related ones? I would like to learn to drive. Okay. Hopefully that will be happening very soon. I was say, that's um, quite achievable. <laughs> what you got to do to learn. I'd like to go <laughs> skydiving. Oh, no, thank you. Jump uh, out of no. a plane. No. I'd love not, to. Not I'd... bungee jumping, though. I wouldn't be able bungee. to do bungee jumping. But no. Maybe do like paragliding as oh, well. Oh, that one. Give that a go. That's the one where you run down a hill with a parachute on your back, isn't it? Isn't that the one with the big kite thing that you hold onto the frame? And then you just fly? No, I don't know. Yeah, no, I think you're right. What, what, what's the one called when you run down a hill with a parachute on your back? I thought that was paragliding. But now oh, you say it. I don't know. None of them appeal to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cliff hand, jumping. Hand, hand gliding is the one with the frame and the triangle. Yes. Paragliding is there the one with the There we go. Back. It's um, me not knowing what I want to do. I'd like to try one of the uh, wingsuits. Oh, I don't oh when you to... look like a flying squirrel. Yeah. Oh. I'd like to try one of them, but I'll be too shit scared to jump. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to do it with somebody else doing it with me. I wouldn't be able to do it solo. I'd fuck it up. I don't think they'd let you, Sophie. No. I think you got your first jump solo. Anyway, you got me strapped to a man. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd probably put the parachute <laughs> on my front or something stupid. Well, I think the thing is, you, you don't... It's not. It's not like you're you're a beginner in those when you're putting those wingsuits on, is it? I mean, you wouldn't get into one of them until you'd done like numerous sort of jumps, base jumps, that sort of stuff. I would imagine. Did you hear about the guy that jumped out of uh, got the record for jumping out of a plane using a wingsuit to then get back into the same plane? That's cool. That is pretty cool. I've I've seen people jump from one plane to another plane. Also very cool. I am um, I, about 15 years ago that I think he was called the rocket man, but I think some guy jumped from France to Dover. Yeah. But he had, he did have rocket, to, he had rocket boosters on his back. I think I saw that. Was yeah, it like, it was yeah, like it's, it's like a jetpack sort of thing. Yeah. He took two tries at it. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I still don't want to do it though. Um, yeah. <laughs> I decided to jump out of a fucking plane unless I have to. I'm just not a big fan of dangling in the air sort of thing for any real reason. No, me either. See, like, people say that they want to do that. You know, when you're strapped onto the 
outside of a plane? No. Nope. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> My problem is I. I don't ever want to be in a situation where um, it comes down to my grip strength is what's keeping me alive. Um, because, you know, if you're just dangling there, if anything, I know you're clipped in and stuff, but if anything goes wrong and it literally comes down to me just holding on like that, my cause of death will go down as couldn't really be bothered because, because <laughs> it's getting a bit tough. Fuck it. It's going to happen sooner or later. Let's get it over and done with. I'm just so lazy. Uh, like. How long do you think you could hold on to? That, this is just the thing. I could probably hold on for about five minutes. I would hold on for about 30 seconds because I'd be like, well, this is going to be five minutes of just being uncomfortable. Yeah, so, fuck it. I'm yeah, off. Can't be bothered. Yeah, I don't think I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm with you, Mishu. Anything that comes down to me... It's, it's like uh, when I was a kid um, in America, we, we used to go to this place called Wild River Country, which is just a water park. I mean, we don't have any decent water parks in this country, but... I mean, like Spain and other countries, they've got awesome ones. And in that, they had zip lines that you could just zip line down into the water and they were well fun. Nowadays, I'm just like, I wouldn't want to be that fat cunt who holds on to it and then just like, oh no, plum. <laughs> just like so straight into the... Those oh, people yeah. clearly haven't informed their hands how much their body weighs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, totally. as soon as the weight goes on their hands, they're like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. That's what I could do this when I was 12 and six stone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, like, I, I like to think I could, I'd could. i be able to hold on long enough to do a zip line, but no, if I couldn't hold on on a plane, I'd be dead. Yeah. Just be, I, oh, I listened to I listened to this song. Um, it was called The Facts of Life. Um, uh, and in it, it's, it's just such a side tangent, but in it, there was like this little fact and it was... Um, a fishing trawler somewhere in the world died because a Russian plane dropped a live cow out and it landed on the fishing plane, uh, on the fishing boat and killed everybody inside of it. I know that's got nothing to do with holding on things, but it was just, um, I, I was envisaging me falling off of a plane hitting a fishing boat and killing everybody in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the fuck was that noise going there's a yeah. massive sam shaped hole through this <laughs> it's just a geyser just spraying water up <laughs> one worse than that i think someone died in america by having a block of ice from the outside of an airplane land on them and oh. it turned out that that ice was from the, the toilet place. yeah i've heard that rumor yeah i am um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, oh, God, I don't know what's worse. A live cow moving its way down to you or a solid frozen turd hitting you. Have you have you ever seen the film Joe Dirt? Yeah, I love it. It's Because um, that, it, that's, that's what he's got in it. It's a mum, me, you're right. It's not. It's yeah, a it's huge, a, huge clump of t- uh, shit. Yeah, it's that, that's a space peanut. <laughs> Yeah, so um, that 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 movie. Uh, do you guys know who Theon Von is, or Theo Von? Nope. No, uh, he's a stand-up comedian, and <laughs> he is basically Joe Dirt. He, he's oh, he's so funny. He's such a, a redneck. I, I absolutely love him. I am um, yeah. But when you said he's then like one of the same person, the people absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, I don't want to jump out of a plane, Sophie. See, I would, but I have a fear of heights and I wouldn't be able to do it. Could you do it if the plane was crashing? Because that's the only way I think I would do it. Yeah. If the plane was going down, it was like you can die or you can jump out the plane. I'd be like, ah, oh, jump out the plane, go on, fuck it. I mean, it was, I was going to die if they don't. I might do uh, a jump where I'm strapped to someone, but I probably won't remember any of it because I'd pass out as I leave the airplane. <laughs> yeah. I'd be worried yeah. I'd myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd be worried about. I'd genuinely be worried that I would just evacuate everything that's in me. <laughs> oh, just, just like, <laughs> like one of those display teams, but with a little fine brown <laughs> mist behind you. Just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't want to jump out after Sam. <laughs> yeah, there'd be a spectators down below because it'd be sponsorship. And they're like, oh, it's a beautiful day, wonderful conditions. We're like, oh, it's raining a bit though. What's up? Uh... Well, it's a bit tangy. Um, uh, yeah. 
Have I been eating asparagus? No? Oh. Yeah, the, the oh. door's diving behind you. It's like, what's that sort of cloud I'm heading towards? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I get the whole adrenaline thing. I just don't see the point in repeatedly throwing yourself out of a plane. I mean, sooner or later, you're gonna you're gonna get hurt from it, aren't you? I'd only do it once. Bro. No point in like it's so expensive. I wouldn't bother doing it too many times. It's just the same thing, why, really, isn't that? That's why everyone well, always does it for charity. That's what I don't like. I hate sponsoring people to do shit they love doing for charity. Mm. I had this conversation like two days ago. Um, uh, a friend of mine was telling me he was going to trying to do a sponsored 24 hour marathon game gaming session. I was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." And then I was like, "Well, I don't even think I can stay up for 24 hours anymore." Um, but he told me about there's this game. Um, I think it was made by Penn and Teller, where you basically drive a bus across America. Do you know of it? Yeah. I've, I know of it. Yeah. yeah. No, I know who Penn and Teller are though. It's, it's well, that's basically... a up for everyone else, right? Um, it's based yeah, on a real bus journey, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, it takes hours of just driving in a straight line. Um, but apparently these guys um, do it as a sponsorship thing. And they made, not sponsorship, a charity thing. And last time they did it, the more people money do was donated, the longer they played. So they ended up playing it for like three or four days straight. But they raised like a million quid. And I saw footage of it. Awful. Just awful. <laughs> straight <laughs> line. You do nothing. I don't think it is just a straight line. I think um, every now and then they throw in a very slight curve. Whoa. Um, Whoa. Yeah, literally, it's just there to make sure that if you fall asleep or if you're not paying attention, if you're just in autopilot, you can still drive off the road. Fuck uh, sake, yeah. Like a proper dick <laughs> move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so along, along, along the line. Put, like, a U bend halfway down it so you have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> well no but you can go back this is the thing is once you get there you can drive all the way back as part of the game it, that sucks I mean I can't imagine that I mean it's amazing that they raised nearly a million quid for it but that's genuinely genuinely impression. Um, impressive not impression um, I'll try and find a picture of uh, what you see um, uh, when you're playing it because it's rubbish it's just, it's just rubbish it's just a straight line just the cockpit of a van yeah, not into that. But yeah, anyway, moving swiftly on from shit games. Um, uh, I'll tell you what I would like what? to try before I die yeah. is that fucking enormous. Yeah, everyone's seen the um, the videos of one of them is like those uh, sort of dry toboggans going down through the Alps. You know, on oh, yeah. it's, like, it's almost like a slide, but you sit on the toboggan and just fucking hair it, and they go on for like miles. Yeah, I'd love to go on one of them. It's a bit like a bigger version of what they've got at Robin Hill, isn't it? Exactly like that. Oh, that was gay, yeah. wasn't it? Sorry. That looked... Yes, but exactly like that. Yeah. I remember that Robin Hill one being super fun. Um, as long as I can, as long as it breaks, so I can slow down and start getting a little bit scared. Um, uh, I'd hate to be that one who just goes off. Just a whoop. Oh, shit. Well, we lost another one. Oh, those stupid English white boys are rubbish. <laughs> it's always the big guys as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Hit the first corner and fuck it straight into a hedge. Yeah. <laughs> He's going too fast in that corner. He's going too fast in that corner. Shit, maybe we should have given him more with the brakes, big fat lummox. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, yeah, they do look fun though, Mushu. I'm, I'm on board with that. I'd, I'd quite like to give that a raz. What about you two? Do you do that? Well, I'd give it a go, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, it seems like fun, I reckon. I do to be all over it. It'd probably be fucking... It'd get a high score straight away as soon as you went on it. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It's 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 oh, right. Oh, not again. Fucking annoyingly yeah. good at shit like that. Oh, yeah, I went down it and they offered me a professional position because I was just so good. I was like, nah, mate, it's just weak and knobby, isn't it? Um, uh... <laughs> well, yeah. welcome back after that non-existent break there. For you guys, anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know where we were. I can't remember. Well, we were asking Sophie what she wanted do and she said she wanted to jump out of an aeroplane um uh, then you said you wanted to go down a mountain on a toboggan being the kid that i am jeep said yeah. he wanted go to on. be a flying squirrel <laughs> he did want to be a flying squirrel yeah have you got anything else in your bucket list that's uh interesting 
other than like I've, still, right. I've still got a couple of things. I'd love to see the Northern Lights. Um, that's always oh. been something I've wanted to do. That's popped up quite um, a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um, Jeeves, and to go uh, on a sled, like sledge ride as well, like with the Huskies and just Greenland. I want to go to Greenland they and do everything doing, up there. Very close. To, uh, fucking hell, I'm banging on about this, aren't I? But they were doing the sledge rides very close to where I stayed in Iceland. Um, and I didn't go for it purely because it's so fucking expensive. Was it? Yeah, it's really, really expensive. And well, that- counts, quite hard work. <laughs> a lot of people turn up and think, oh, all the dogs do the work. But apparently you've got to be fairly physically fit to be able to do it. Can you oh, that sounds it? so fun. What, I'd, I'd, physically... I'd just be running along with the dogs, just trying to pet them the whole time, wouldn't I? They're not very friendly dogs. Hus- then... Huskies are lovely. Yeah, no, no. Front Huskies are... You have to wear a harness. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Sophie turns up and she's like, nah, I'm not paying full. Mount me. Not mount me. That's not right. Um, (laughs) 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 Harness me up. I'm running with the boys. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that wasn't right. No. Um, I know the word. (laughs) Annoyingly, I know what you were trying to say and I can't think of it either. (laughs) I know, right? It's not mount me, though, is it? (laughs) It is really not. Harness? Oh, I suppose so. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's a bad role play. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> yeah, say, no, are, I'd quite like to do that as well. We, we are being kind of unfair on Sophie here, like plugging her for all this information when we quite happily accepted that Jesus had one thing on his bucket list. No, no, but Jesus had one thing on his bucket list, and that was it. That he only wants to do one thing in life, apart from buy some rando that nobody else knows a tank. Um, uh, that, is that fair, Jeeves? Sorry, I didn't want to diminish your uh, your life goals, <laughs> but you said you wanted to do one thing. Pretty much, that's all I wanted. All, all I've ever wanted to do, really, just. But I, I want to do it in an actual uh, racing event, not just like a track day. Well, I've been thinking like a racing about series rather than a than just turn up to Silverstone, do a track day, and then go home. Can, would would go karting do? Because you can do races there. That's an actual race. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do go karting. We've got that on that, the island too. So there's loads of them. They're everywhere. Cost you like twenty quid. Yeah, but that's for the day. I want to do it in an actual event. We can make it two days if you yeah. want. Yeah, because you forty quid. <laughs> we'll do it do it one way the first day and do it in reverse the next day oh i like it like when you get a gold star on one of the uh, racing levels so you get to go backwards or yeah the original red racer games if you uh completed all of the tracks in them they'd reverse them all and then you'd have to do them all backwards in that yeah no yes cheats it's your dream <laughs> i'd rather do it in a gt3 class car I don't know what that is. It's no pleasing some people. Like Porsche, uh, BMW, uh, M8, that sort of thing. Porsche GT3. What What are we doing here, guys? He's got one goal in life, and we're trying to we're trying to give him the budget version. This is his bucket list, and we're like, well, would a would a shopping trolley around the car park? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I reckon that would be let quite fun. Let him have a little bit. He's got one thing he wants in life. Let it be the fucking thing he actually wants, not a budget version of it. Uh, there's no. only so much we can do. No, <laughs> make it come true. That's that's the great thing about bucket lists. It's nobody's responsibility but the person who owns the list. It's, it's up to Jesus to make that come true, not us. We... Yeah, very true. I mean, saying that, Jeeves, if you do want a spin around Tesco's car park in a trolley, I'm more than happy to pay, pay that pound as long as I get it back. Once the <laughs> Are you going to push him as well, Andy? Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to run along pushing him. I'll just push him once, um, preferably down a hill. <laughs> no, you, you, no, then you can't have that pound back. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you use your car like you did that wheelchair? No. What? Right. Elaborate, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quick story. Um, there's a large hill near where we are. Um, and we, me and Zach... Uh, and uh, uh, no, 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 there's no we in this. It was just you and one other <laughs> person. 
We weren't. In, me and Sophie was not involved in this in any way, shape, or form. Oh, wait. Just, <laughs> isn't it a police investigation? Fucking yes. might be. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. So we've got this big hill, and me and Zach also had a wheelchair, and obviously. You know, big hill plus wheelchair equals let's shove Zach down the hill in the wheelchair. Right? Just to say, this hill has speed bumps as well. <laughs> this is a detail that wasn't pointed out to Zach yet. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he got in the um, he he got in the wheelchair. We didn't have a safety we we didn't have a, a, a helmet or anything like that, but we were very health and safety conscious. So we gave him a pink cowboy hat. Um, because that's all we could find. Visibility um, is important. Yeah, and then I, I give him a little shove down the hill. But I, <laughs> I thought it would be great to film. It would be really good filming, but it was dark, and if I started filming, I wouldn't be able to see him as soon as he got out of... So I followed him in the transit, right? So I'm in a transit. I'm filming out the window like this as he's going down the hill in this wheelchair. Um and he started slowing down a bit, so I thought I'd give him a little nudge. Just, you know, just like a little helpful nudge in the transit. And um, so I put my foot down on the accelerator. I just heard this crunch, and it went straight underneath. Um, <laughs> so obviously, I braked. I have got out, and Zach was... He had the foresight to jump out before I ran him over. Um, but he was lying on the floor, really fucking quite cross. I've never seen him so angry. Um, but yeah, since then, I think we can rule out motorised nudging of non-motorised vehicles. It doesn't work out great. Well. Although, I'm... James, if you're willing to put on the pink cowboy hat, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a second, a second go. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, was he as angry as when he turned your electric off? That was me being angry then. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying to gauge how angry Zach was. Was he uh, that angry? Yeah, probably not. He wasn't that angry. You know, it's, it's Zach. He was just like, should we try again? And I was like, I can't. The fucking wheelchair's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> now, got no wheels. It's just a chair now. Um... <laughs> it's not even a chair. It's not even a chair. It's just a, a weird bent pile of metal full of tetanus. What? Now, what I want to know is whose fucking wheelchair was it? Is there some person with no legs just sort of haunting the site looking for their chair? Now... This is something that's what? crossed my mind before because the amount of times we get wheelchairs and we get crutches and stuff like that left behind. And all I can assume is miracles happen here every day. That's me. Why can I hear cricket? I've got one that lives under the fridge in the kitchen and we can't catch it. <laughs> I've had that happen to me. That's the most annoying thing. When I was out in America, one got into the house. How do you sleep? I, I, I've learned to block out things that I don't want to hear. I find it quite relaxing. But no, it's like like I'm outside. Yeah, it's like. It's but yeah, like we've we've had this Alabama. one cricket for months. But it's just. <laughs> can I can I just say I hadn't noticed it until you pointed it out, and now that's all I can hear. <laughs> yeah. Just... I can shut. <clears throat> I think the most oh. annoying thing about it all, though, because I've been in this situation as well, is um, <clears throat> you keep the crickets where they're supposed to be kept, all dead within, like, a week. They, they all just mm. fucking die. Um, one of them gets out and lives under a fridge, in a cupboard, under a box, something like that. Fucking months, the thing will live. Yeah. Fucking months. It's like the Duracell bunny. Just keeps going. I, um, I have delivered boxes of crickets before, and I assume you get yours delivered to you. Is that, or do you is, have you got a shop you can go to and pick up I don't know, a handful? Of, I don't know how you buy crickets. Boxes. You sell them by the pint glass. No, look, boxes. Just pay some guy in a field a tenner, and then you have to go off and catch them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bag. It's pick your own. Um, but I've <laughs> delivered them, and I think they come in a little bit sleepy. I mean, are they the sort that you can chill down and they go a bit docile? I don't know. No, I just, well, I just you... go to the Chinese and I'll pick a tub up. The Chinese? Yeah, you Is get them the Chinese they're... tubs. Okay. Um, yes, well. The virus. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, right. Anyway, I've delivered them before and they seem to have woken up midway around my shift and there's a whole box of them in the back of my van and it, it, it's loud. 
and like, I'm like, right, I'm getting rid of this fucking thing. Just like turn up at someone's house and like, this is yours. And it's really noisy. Just have it. <laughs> I don't know what you're eating. I didn't Price think manual food sales. Thing by post. Now nah, you get all sorts delivered, mate. We deliver everything. Yeah. I saw Come somebody mate. got sent a praying mantis once. Whoa. Got sent yeah. one? What, like... Yeah, oh, I was sounds watching... A bit, sounds a bit aggressive. It was on Facebook. Um, obviously, it had all the This Way Up animal inside stickers on it. And yeah, it was like a little Petri dish, and it had a pr- little baby praying mantis in it. Oh, that's cute. I quite like praying yeah. mantises. I think they're good, and it's yeah. one of the best, It's one of the more fun uh, kung fu styles to watch if you've ever seen it, because it's all fingers all over the place. It's crazy. I, I I've only ever seen it when I watched the Power Rangers when I was about eight years old. Not, no? not the best representation. It's um, the Chinese cu- counselor uses it in uh, Marco Polo. It's his style. Oh, it's really good. I mean, praying mantises are cool if you're a lady, but if you're a bloke from praying mantis, you, your life sucks. She has your way with you, cuts your head off and eats you, doesn't she? No? Yeah, but swings and roundabouts, you get laid in the process. Fair play. Absolutely fair play. I mean, the worst ways to go out is all I'm saying. What, having your head cut off? Yeah, like um, drowning in And they eat it off rather than cut it. I don't know. Not a praying mantis. I think they just chop it off, don't they? And then they they eat it afterwards. They bit it. Yeah, they just like Hi-ya! Yeah, praying mantis style. <laughs> yeah. Incidentally, I wasn't trying to use my hand, I was trying to use this. Bit. That's why it was so floppy. It's just like ah <laughs> <laughs> Karate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you got the you got it down, Mushi. Well done. Know, mate. I've seen you I've seen you fighting off muggers. Stay back. <laughs> These are weapons. <laughs> I cut your head off. <laughs> Karate chop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck. Go on then. Let's, let's hear some more if you've got such an enormous list of shit you want to do. It's quite impressive. There's so much you want to do, by the way. Thank you. I mean, I mean that's all of the exciting stuff, really. Um, and then obviously, I'd like to do the the normal everyday stuff. I want to be able. I want to buy a house and have that. And one thing I would like to do is I'd like to actually rescue an animal um, instead of, you know, like how you see in America, you have people going out and they've noticed a stray dog and they're trying to hoax it in to save it. I'd love to actually be able to do that. Yeah. I'm yeah, I'd love to be so able to go. with you on that. So with you. Mm. Those Facebook videos, I fucking, I cannot help <laughs> but watch them all. I'm a sucker for them. Even, I even yeah. pass the adverts. I love a I love a, a success story where they find these yeah. little starving puppies or something like that. Yeah, like um, a manly old dog that's got hair a bit like Sophie's, and then they shave it off, and it's covered in fleas. Yeah. And then, six months later, it's got one eye, two legs, but it's happy. Oh, yeah, but I'm sorry, what, Andy. What emotional but... roller coaster. Andy, all that has just reminded me of is Dandelion Puff. Ah oh, fuck! Don't. Yeah, that's uh, that's a fox on a video game which I rescued, and it won't fuck off now. Um, it, really... Is this the fox that you keep rubbing in my nose about? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and I've never been so annoyed with a video game character, and I wish I hadn't rescued it. Uh, but there we go. But no, I'd I'd probably go one step further than just rescuing that. I'd want to have one of those ones where it's a weird animal, you know, like. There's the guy that rescued the squirrel, the little baby squirrel from yeah. drowning or something. And then it's grown up. <clears throat> it lives in the tree next to his house. But whenever he comes out, it'll bounce down and sort of sit on his hand and sit. Nice. And it. There's a Russian guy that rescued a raven. Um, and the raven lives out in the wild. But he goes out and just calls it and it will come down and sit on his shoulder. And it's, I'd want something that- like that. I uh, oh oh this was such a sad a sad video but it was also a brilliant video. Um, it was it reminded me when you said a guy saved a squirrel and some guy rescued a squirrel and set it free. And and then the bird come down and got it straight away. No, next door neighbor's cat came out of nowhere, jumped up the fucking tree, pulled it off, and killed it. I was like, I'm so conflicted because it's a circle that's what, of life. That's what cats are meant to do, isn't it? And that yeah. cat. Is like 
fuck yes, I got the motherfucker. I saw them playing in the window next door. <laughs> just <laughs> biding his time. And all of a sudden, it's just like, they're like, run free, my furry little friend. And it's just like, Ow! just gets hit, fucks off. It's just... I think cats are dickheads enough that you can imagine it just sitting there in the, in the window, just watching, going like, yes. Yes, the human will make you soft and weak and then release you. <laughs> Grow, my friend. Grow. You will make a tasty morsel. Um, <laughs> but you know full well that that cat's bitten that fucking animal's head off, licks itself a little bit, then looks up at the humans, all proud as punch, like, yeah, fucking got it. Nailed it, motherfuckers. <laughs> Stone cold killer. Yeah, I love cats. I love for that reason, not not specifically for that reason. Just to clarify, I just think they're fucking the freshly released animals. Yeah, I love yeah. anything that does that. Well, didn't didn't a lighthouse keeper? Um, some I, I want to say Scotland, but I mean I've not exactly been accurate this evening. Um, take his cat with him when he went to do lighthousing. I don't know what the, what, what you call it. Um, uh, I like the way the cricket went quiet when I was talking there. It makes me feel really self-important, by the way. <laughs> it's just like, even the cricket's listening. Anyway, so the lighthouse keeper takes his cat to this island where there's like a, uh, an endangered species of bird, but it's a ground-based bird, and the cat killed every single one of them. It's like it, fully extinct on that island now because of just some lighthouse keeper's cat just going around just murking these birds. <laughs> just like, how embarrassed would you be when you got back in like the RS? PCB or whatever turn up to do a study of the 500 rare birds that live on this island and only this island and, and there's just just fucking Tom or Jerry I don't know which one just sat there just licking his lips <laughs> he's just like ah got him you're welcome <laughs> stupid animals yeah but, but god bless him yeah they're, they're, they're amazing absolutely amazing I, mean, I did really stat about like if there were no cats killing birds um i can't remember the exact details but that we would be overrun if it wasn't for cats we'd be overrun with like pigeons and mice and things like that they they do a wonderful job to the ecosystem yeah i think everything balances itself out doesn't it apart- so the circle of life to quote elton john well apart from us yeah apart you- from humans yeah well, yeah we're a fucking cancer on this planet Mm. Yeah, of course we are, but... But that's <laughs> so... why the government bring out Corona. Oh. Oh, there do you go. go on. <laughs> go on, then, Sophie. No, Let's we're say... on bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, oh, we're well, like, well, we've got the tinfoil hats out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's just there. I'll just wrap it back on. You can't see it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lord alive. Oh, go on then. Let's, here's some more bucket list bits and bobs off you, and um, then I'll read out some I comments. Say, to be honest, I think that is pretty much it. I mean, I'm oh. I'm certainly going to think of more once we finish talking. I mean, that's, but that's the majority. It's a, it's a much longer list, considerably longer list than all of ours. Yeah. Um, and she's got some nice, humble ones in there that normal functioning human beings have. You know, live somewhere. Learn to drive a car. Those kind of things. I mean, that's that's, that's pretty good. Thank hmm. you. Yeah. Well, anyway, so I've got a comment on here from Felix. Uh, we love Felix's comments. They, um, they're good. And this is a really good one. And I didn't even know this was a, a thing. And I want to do it. It's made it onto my list. He said, want to go to a beach in the Caribbean when the algae goes bioluminescent and the sea glows and you can walk through it. Mm. that sounds amazing have you not seen any of the videos well now i've read it out loud um and not in my head i i, I do feel like i might have actually seen him it's online yeah i think that would be incredible i mean there's something weirdly satisfying about paddling in the sea at night anyway it sort yeah, of feels fr- it feels naughty and it's sort of primal and it's, I don't know, there's something weird about it, but it feels good for a naughty you, reason. You're uh, right, it does. I feel <laughs> I always feel like I'm being really naughty and that I'm going to get told off for doing it. In reality, yeah. I'm not going to fucking see when it's dark. I'm allowed to. Yeah, there's no laws against it. You're allowed to paddle at night. It's it's just the same as paddling in the day. Worst case scenario, you might get someone co- come along and call you a prick. But um, other than that, yeah, but it always feels slightly wrong. Mm. Um, 
I can't remember where I was going with it. Oh yeah, but then but yeah, <laughs> you've got all the lights sort of around you as well. Like so you've got it, I don't know, it would just be incredible because you'd already have that little adrenaline of like, ooh, am I breaking the law? No, I'm not, but it mm. kind of feels like I am. And then just like everything's lit up around you. Mm. Um, the only Caribbean's way- a beautiful place as well. Oh, if you didn't know, just yes. mm. St. Martin and St. Bartholomew. Oh, of course you have. <laughs> Were you Two of your- the most dangerous airports in the world, you'll find. No. Well, I like to- for like been there. health and safety reasons or just uh, gun wires? Um, St. Martin's Airport has a short... Is this a slipway, isn't it? Is it runway? Slipway? Runway. Run. Runway. Um, and it starts the other side of the road that has a beach. So, oh! Yes, yeah. About, yeah. Yeah, so oh, that I one. one about. Yeah, yeah. And then St. Bartholomew, you have to go between, you can only get their propeller plane, so 16 passengers limit. Uh, you have to go through, like, between two mountains, and the runway stops in the sea. Fuck, man. So you have to stop before you get to the water. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous places. Yeah. Oh. Nice and warm, too. Can you get there by boat? Uh, yeah. Well, you can from, I think you can from St. Martin's to St. Bartholomew, but I'm not sure because obviously it's the, it's the Caribbean and you're not seeing Pirates of the Caribbean. Of course you can get there by bite. All right, Jesus. And bring back Johnny Depp whilst we're on the topic. Yeah, bring back Johnny Depp. He shouldn't be axed because he was married to some crazy bitch. He was yeah. really good at I haven't really been following it, but from what I can gather, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. don't see why his career has to be so affected by something that has nothing to do with his career. I fucking hate cancel culture. And then hers, hers is untouched and nothing's happened. Mm. And, then you've got, and then you've got celebrities like Cardi B who have admitted to uh, date raping people in the past or, or date, ste- uh, da- drugging them and robbing from them or whatever it was. Uh, and not a fucking thing is said about it. Don't like, even get started on that cunt because that is a real bugbear of mine and, and for that exact reason everyone's like oh she's so great she's so empowering to women what she's singing about her wet ass pussy and i'm like oh i hate that bitch. song oh, that gross. angers me all of us oh. like, sophie's is dry <laughs> <laughs> you know, so i didn't realize i was going to touch a bone there for uh, jealousy but yeah, the fact that she the fact that she drugged people, robbed them, and proudly talks about it, and everyone's like, "Oh, she's so great, she's so great." But Johnny Depp has been asked to leave fucking Warner Brothers for um, for crimes in his past is bullshit. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, you've riled me up now, Moose Chew. <laughs> it would appear everyone's a bit riled up now. I suppose it's where he's he's on Fantastic Beasts, isn't he? Which is a spin off of Harry Potter, which is why it's so close to your heart, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, fucking is. And he was amazing in that role as well. It, yeah. Uh, have you seen it? Uh, the second movie isn't the greatest, but he's so fucking good as that character. I've it's got a Niffler in the other room. You've got a what? I've got a Niffler. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. I like shiny Niff- things too. No, let's not talk about Harry Potter because <laughs> the other people get upset with us. We'll save this for another day. Um <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think it's outrageous that he's um, that he's uh, been asked to leave, and he left. I think it's like that. Uh, I was following that a little bit, and he was so honest throughout it, throughout all of the questioning. And it's only a libel case as well. He lost the libel case, and now he's lost his fucking job. It's bullshit, man. I am um, yeah. Cancel culture is shit. Word of the day there, people. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeebus, uh, glowing <laughs> algae? What? Glowing, glowing algae? algae. Does, does it, glowing algae, does it appear to, it appeal to you? Yeah, I'd be down for that. I have seen the videos before. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd like to do it. but I'd, now, uh... This is going to sound a bit odd, but I'd kind of like to do it sort of in the buff. 
I know. You had to ruin it, skinny didn't you? Dip huh? Skinny dipping. Yeah, I mean... Have you ever done skinny dipping? Well, yeah, obviously. No. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, think, if you're going to be, you've got a once in a lifetime to dip yourself in this sea full of these glowing creatures. I mean, I just think do it without the speedos. I think it would be better. Speedo. You should do everything without speedos. If the choice is naked and speedos, go naked, mate. Yeah, always. Really? Yeah, always. No one wants to see budgie smugglers. They are <laughs> awful. This is where Andy goes in the sea and all the lights turn off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be so funny, wouldn't it? Nope. All the algae just big dark spot. <laughs> <laughs> they're all there. They, 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 they literally evolve. They're like, fuck me, we don't want to see that. Turn your lights off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we're, attack we're attracting speedos. Turn them off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It would uh, be quite would be quite cool. Um, I like it. But I, I realised... Um, I think I know why, go, for me anyway, why I think going in the sea at night is like such a taboo feeling. It's because of Jaws. The opening of Jaws. So that came out when I was really young and I saw it when I was really, really young. And the opening of that, someone goes swimming in the dark and gets eaten by a shark. And I think that's just always stuck with me a little bit. Because I don't think I've ever done it. I don't think I've ever gone swimming in the sea at night time. No. Because most I've been... normal people are sleeping at that time. Well, yeah. I've, well, I've been in the sea swimming at night. Yeah, I have done. Yeah, but you, you don't sleep at though. night. Oh, no, this was way before I started doing night work. Oh. Did you um, uh, Did you get eaten by a shark? No, this was um, oh, in Rhodes in Greece. I'd imagine Crap. that's quite nice. Very nice. Mm. The hotel was basically built on the side of um, almost like a mountain cliff sort of thing. It was like it was in levels. So the elevator, instead of going up and down, went at an angle. And the cart was like uh, the cart was one end was on like stilts and wheels, and then the other end was against the cliff, and it just went up and down like that. That sounds awesome. It that was sound brilliant. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna add swimming in the sea at night on my bucket list. By the way, that's yeah, one I mean, definitely. Dave. with the glowing algae it would just be better I'd, I'd have to say though the one thing that i think would almost definitely ruin that whole experience would be other people especially if it's because <laughs> it's just, yeah this only happens one night a year though andy you realize that so everybody <laughs> yeah that's what i mean <laughs> andy comes out in the sea everyone's got their cameras out he's like excuse me <laughs> he's butt naked <laughs> be the shower that... scene all over again <laughs> I didn't know they had uh, acorn trees around there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, but the thing is, I might have algae stuck to me still, so I'll just be like some sort of sparkling vision of Neptune just emerging. Swamp thing. There. Swamp thing. That's more like it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> Cheers for that. Um, yeah, okay, moving on. What's, what's next up on the comments? I've got Stacey Page. She's written a bunch of stuff here. Stuff we've already covered. Go to Iceland, see the Northern Lights, swim in a blue, lag blue lagoon. I was just thinking that, and you know this, like the hot springs. I've swum in a hot springs. or Well, swim's a bold word. It was just like a really big puddle. Um, uh, quite nice, but it smells like farts. Um, I've swum in the blue lagoon. Well, oh, Is that well, when you went to Iceland? <laughs> <laughs> as it happens well the thing is while i was in iceland i realized that the blue lagoon was also in iceland so i thought i might as well go there That's did, did you sure stay longer was... than 30 seconds Mate, yeah, did you just look at it and turn around and leave i was in there for the day i have never felt more at home anywhere in my in my life um, can you um, anybody who doesn't know can you explain what the appeal of the blue lagoon is please yeah the blue lagoon is a volcanic lagoon um it's, it's basically a volcanic lagoon it's thermally heated um uh, geothermally heated from volcanic energy uh huh. so when we went there i think it, it was 11 minus 11 outside or something like yeah. that um wow. 
and the water was just so warm and the steam coming off the water as well hitting the cold air keeps everything sort of two foot above the water at the at a nice temperature as well and oh, like you can literally that. put your hand up and then you can feel your fingertips freeze when it gets away from the water it's amazing um and the water is pure blue hence the name uh is it salty or is it i was about to say sweet then like a pop um is it salty or like drink fresh water? fresh I, I think it's fresh water yeah I don't know. It might be salt water. I didn't taste it because it's sulfuric. It, like the one thing about the Blue Lagoon is it smells horrible because it's yeah. it's all sulfur um, and there's a thick layer of mud across the bottom of it. Which is, people pick it up, scoop it up, and like smear it on their face because it's supposed to be good for you. Oh, uh, and that's, do that. that fucking stinks as well. I tried it yes, and then I, I realised that people are walking around in this mud all day with their feet and then I'm smearing it on my face and that kind of creeped me out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really fucking nice. It's a really nice place. And they've got a little waterside bar so you can go. They only allow you to have one or two drinks. Ah, oh, ruining it. You sit at the bar on the blue lagoon and then take your beer out for a little paddle. And it's fuck. Yeah. Yeah. One more question. Did you piss in it? No. <laughs> No, didn't I didn't. You? I genuinely you, did not. That it, you it, said it, you were there all day long. Are you telling me that you didn't piss in it? Oh no, 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 no! Because they've got um, it, it's there's part of the lagoon where the whole sort of center is like, the, and you can swim around there. And they've got like underwater doors which you can go through. And the lagoon carries on inside this place. And then you you've literally you can walk out and you can. And they've got like steam rooms and toilets, and it's the coolest setup you've ever seen. It was actually a joy to go for a piss. Oh, fair enough. Um, I thought you were going to be like, it's a blue lagoon. If you piss, it's going to go like a greeny colour. Don't get me wrong, mate. Like you've got you've got a massive pond full of people and a bar. I'm sure people have done a lot worse than piss in there. Um, but I didn't. I just felt it'd be like kind of sacrilegious. Oh, I probably would. Why is Jesus just sitting down there grinning? What's going on? What thinking, thinking of you in the Blue Lagoon. He's just pissing. That's what he's doing right now. Yeah, well, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any complaints about my speedos over there. So Icelandics clearly know the uh, the value of, of decent swimwear. Oh, you must... Oh, what a horrible thought. Anyway, well, she goes on from the back of the Blue Lagoon... It says, go to Amsterdam and visit sex music. I should probably read this before I read this out loud, shouldn't I? Um, uh, thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo to you. Good choices. I'd quite like to do that as well. But I feel like uh, Amsterdam would be wasting on me because I, I don't really smoke weed anymore. So if I did, I'd be like, well, when in Rome or Amsterdam, as the case, I'll get baked and just end up sleeping and eating cakes all day. No, just me. Well, yeah. I mean... When, when she says a sex museum, is there a sex museum there? Or is it yeah. like the red light district? Oh, there there's are... an actual museum. Is it yeah, like a Chinese would... museum, is yeah. it? Yeah, I'm sure in the foyer they've got like a, like a nine-foot cock or something. Yeah. You see, I'd love to do that. I'd love to go there. Like, not out of a pervy thing. Just oh, I... you can stand next to them all, Andy. And like, you can take pictures and we'll be like, guess which one's the dick and guess which one's Andy. Definitely do that. <laughs> Fucking hell. New, new pacifist podcast card game. <laughs> Amsterdam or Andy. <laughs> wow. Well, there we go. I mean, you might be onto something. Who knows? Um, Especially if you're going to get that tattoo that Jeep said about the other week. Oh, what tattoo was this? Okay. Oh, yeah, the big cock on the face one. That was just a Sharpie thing, I think. I don't think it was specifically a tattoo. Yeah, we can knock him out to sleep for long enough. Hey, actually, I've got a bone to pick with you guys. What happened to the Pacifist Podcast logo on his head? He wouldn't let us come round and do it. Mooch. We did try. Didn't we, Jubes? We did. I'm upset by that. Funny that, though, isn't it? Uh, well, well, moving swiftly on from Sex Museums and Andy's shiny head. Uh, um, sorry, I just... Before we move on from sex museum, can I just say I love how all through history there is evidence of people drawing cocks for fun. I, I just like it, it's it goes, funny. 
so far back, like so far back, they found like clay imprints of people that have just drawn, just drawn a dick in the side of someone's house or something like that from like some <laughs> settlement. Brilliant, timeless humour. Didn't we establish that that's called a mushu now? Just a big throbbing dick. No, was that not in the last episode? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's not revisit it if it was. <laughs> what about that, what, what about that uh, picture I sent you earlier, Sam? Oh, I haven't looked at that yet because I've got my um, I've got my phone on all the comments. No, no, the uh, Andy's lamp, bedside lamp. <laughs> that was so funny, right? There's a picture of that now. <laughs> Ow, well, damn. I guess I'll just sit here in blissful ignorance until I watch it, shall I? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know yet either, Andy. No, and, and for all that makes you feel any better. No, yeah. That's two views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was fantastic. But I will. Um, so he sends me a message, and it's like, "Oh, do you want to see Andy's bedside lamp?" And I was like, "Definitely." I was like, "Oh, hang on, why are you in Mushu's bed?" And then he sends me the uh, picture of a lamp, and it's just it's just a big frothing knob with a big white spray coming out of the top. Guys, it's um quite the artwork. I think I've seen that lamp. It's on your bedside table. <laughs> <laughs> the secret there we are that big big cock it doesn't look quite as effective on that but i'll uh i actually quite like that it's, it's quite quite something isn't it <laughs> what a mess <laughs> i wonder if it's one of those touch lamps but it's only on the <laughs> bed <laughs> you just got a little tap on the tip <laughs> Oh Jesus! No, it's motion sensors, so you've got you've got to rub it up and down. Oh, up for on, down for off. Well, yeah, rather rather you and me on that. I'll just stick with the light switch if, I, if yeah, it's a bit boring, but that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, so she then goes on to say, and I didn't know this existed, by the way, uh, to visit Super Nintendo World in either Japan or Orlando. Um, although it says they won't be finished until 2022. Again, I should pre-read these things before I start talking. That sounds pretty cool, though, doesn't it? Mm. Well, yeah. yeah. I've not looked yeah. into them at all, to be honest. I just I mean, did it, know. It's knowing the Japanese, because I don't think this is racist, but they have hmm. a... They have but... a generally, as a people, they have a habit to do things quite extravagantly. That they do. Don't uh, they have like the fertility park or something like that? Yeah, that's all cocks as well. Penises. Got a big festival of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carry a massive wooden dick through <laughs> the street. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah. Because ancient, in ancient samurai times, dicks were kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we've established that dicks are pretty funny now, Mushi. <laughs> never have they've never stopped. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, um, if you're a big fan of drawing cocks and balls, send them in. We'll uh, we'll put them up on the uh, Facebook page. We'll have a little, run a little competition. Best cock and ball hey, picture. We'll do it like Tony Hart's gallery. We could even have yeah. the music going. You know, do, do, do. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, do. I yeah. like it. Cock and I ball. I think you should remix it, Andy. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll give it some boots and cats. And all yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very impressive. But we have to put the name of the age up next to it. You know, <laughs> Mushu, 42, <laughs> um, uh, from Shanklin. And then there's his wonderful piece of art. <laughs> that was the balls, in case you're wondering. That's what that was. <laughs> next up, Mushu again, with another attempt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, getting better there, Mush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um and then she said uh, she wants to go to dollywood with her daughter i don't know what dollywood is. oh no i do know what dollywood is that's a dolly parton theme park isn't it yeah yeah um, I know. wouldn't appeal to me at all I, i'd imagine a dolly parton fan though would find that quite interesting yeah i mean i like that song nine till five it's pretty good um yeah. Yeah. i like jolene i always thought jolene was a great song yeah she they did that um or she did that with that band pentatonic you know, they're an a cappella band. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, they, she collaborated with them to redo it. It was very good, actually. Their um, the, the albums are horrible, but that song's pretty <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend sticking it on your phone because it always shuffles it in. You're like, I don't want to hear Oh Holy Night. It's summertime, for fuck's sake. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, and very last, and 
this is one I definitely agree with. I'd like to go to New York around Thanksgiving slash Christmas time. Now, I don't want to go to New York at all. Um, uh, for, but if I was going to go around Christmas or Thanksgiving, because, you know, it's, it's around now, isn't it, Thanksgiving? Um, it's just not too far off. That would be the time I would go um, uh, when it's all nice and snowy and cold and everybody's a little bit happier. That's Hollywood, though, isn't it? No, no, New York. No, no, no. I mean, that's Hollywood's depiction of New York. That's what rubs off on people. You know, like you generally don't see any feel good movies set in New York when it's um, sunny, if you know what I mean. Generally, most of the feel good movies you see set in New York and cities, they're, they're done in, or certainly New York especially, they're done at winter. You know, like yeah. LA, you get a lot of summer, summery films and that sort of thing, but New York, not so much. So when people think of New York, they think of the happy films they've seen. They think of Home Alone 2, you know, like all your fucking Miracle on 34th Street, all that sort of shit, you know. That's what I reckon anyway. I'm, I'm, no, I'm sure I think it is. You're right. um, but then, you know, London's beautiful at winter, I'm, uh, at Christmas time. I'm sure every city probably is. London is never beautiful, mate. I hate London so much. That's because we've grown with it, but I always appreciated London at Christmas time. The amount of effort that went into it, I always thought it was nice. Well, I'm glad you do. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's shit. I um, yeah, it's too crowded. It's not built for me. It's just too but, many people. But no, you're right. I mean, probably if you're going to go somewhere, you might as well go when it's going to live up to your expectations. So yeah, why not stick to Christmas? <laughs> You know, Santa's on every corner collecting for fucking homeless people, that sort of shit. Yeah, yeah like, like, that. Like, walking past, like walking past them thinking, ha, I've got a home. Um, that's just me. <laughs> it's like eating when you're watching somebody be hungry. You know, there's African <laughs> advert. Second they come on, I crack out a Mars bar instantly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Eat it all smug. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't have this anyway it'd be all melty um <laughs> oh lord but yeah that's that's all all um all of her list it's like a pretty good list i think i mean like, mostly holiday related but they're pretty cool ones yeah i mean I've, i'm gonna have to look into this nintendo world i want to see what it looks like mm, well it's not built yet it's being built <laughs> yeah but there'll be concepts about it won't there yeah good shout and by the sound of it it's um in japan so It'll probably be built in about four hours. Yeah. Well, you saw how quickly during Roro they built an entire hospital, didn't they? Just like, like instantly, they're like, "Oh shit, we need another hospital because of all the uh, uh, sick people." And, like three days later, they're like, "Yeah, we built one. Here it is." They are Meeting. quite efficient, though. Yeah, it needs a lick of paint, but aside from that, it's all good. Yeah. Well, should we go on to another comment? Why not? Yeah, okay, right. I've got one here from Ross Gilbert. Um, started off with a massive list of countries, and I was like, yeah, can we actually... I'm not going to read them out. I can't bother. Um, uh, uh, then he went into... It says, I would reform educational funding and healthcare funding, deprivatise public transport, make politicians declare any private investments, which I thought was really, really good, but not so much a bucket list thing as more of a if I ruled the world kind of thing. I was going to say that sounds like an if I could rule the world thing. Which is, funnily, exactly what I said in the comments, um, which he then replied with some bucket list stuff that I fucking love. Stuff I hadn't <laughs> thought, but I'm so on board with it. it's ridiculous. It says, I'd love to work a season on a large-scale gold mine, like in Gold Rush. I'd also like to visit a Lego factory. I don't want to do that. Uh, and I'd also like to feed a Tasmanian devil. I mean, I'm two out of three of them, I'm well on board with. The gold mine one, <clears throat> yeah. I imagine you're on board with. Fucking you're right. Board, which is the other one that you're well on board with? The feeding the Tasmanian devil? Yeah. Okay. Why? What? Why? Why not? Yeah. What? If, thank you, Sophie. I'll let you answer this one. Why wouldn't you want to feed one? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm not. I mean, if there was a hungry Tasmanian devil in front of me, obviously I wouldn't deprive it of food. I would. I would, I would feed it. I'm just saying, that for a bucket list, why a Tasmanian devil above all other animals? On he might Earth? be his favourite. <clears throat> 
Well, yeah, it's not my favourite, but I would quite like to feed. I'd like, also like to. What do they eat? Babies. I mean, I'd assume they eat, if they're if they're carnivores, well, you're going to feed them yourself. Well, it's, well, give a can of spam or something. Everyone loves spam. <laughs> I don't think they do. Yeah. <laughs> I bet, I, 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 again, I would bet a whole pound that if I put a can of Spam in front of a Tasmanian devil, it'd wolf it down, probably die, but too much sodium or something. But yeah, I, um, I'm on board with that, because they're, they're a weird animal, aren't they? They're like a cat and a dog together. Mm. A dog. So if out, out of all of the creatures in the world, you would no. want to feed a Tasmanian devil? No, 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 no. We talked about tigers the other day. As I say, I'm really conflicted about the tigers because I want to pet a baby one, but I don't think they should be in captivity. I would much rather feed a baby tiger a bottle than yeah. a Tasmanian devil. But I would quite like to feed a Tasmanian <laughs> devil as well. I want to feed lots of things. I, feed I want to feed one of those little, what are they called? The sugar loaf? Is it? No, not sugar That's loaf. That's a mountain in yeah. Brazil. They're little things. Yeah. They, they just bounce everywhere. They've got massive eyes. Um, oh, the little, um, I know the, what you mean. Little ah, and they eat balls of seeds and they just like hold them like I'm are they the ones that are like perpetually yeah. is it sugar glider yes i think it is yeah oh, oh that's something i'd like to feed on a bucket list level because I've n i'd never be likely to meet one i'd never likely to see one meet um one. So hello yeah. there I've got bulbous eyes what's your name oh i'm a sugar monkey or whatever <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I mean, actually, yeah, there's I, a baby one. I mean, yeah, they're so cute, aren't they? Yeah, what, what, the hell, what are they doing to it in that picture? I think they're just holding him, it's like they're strangling him. No, He's only a little baby. Oh, they're pretty sweet, aren't they? Very adorable. So, any animal with little they're hands, so small, they're so small. <laughs> I think these are babies, but. I want I don't want them to grow. I want them to stay that oh, size. That's a little bit bigger. Not much bigger, though, is it? Yeah. That's amazing. See, they're, they're great. <laughs> and the way they just bounce around as well, it'd be so much fun. That's cute. Look at that. Yeah. So, your tigers, I'd be that. So, what would you feed if you could feed any animal? In if the I world? had to pick one animal, you've got no chance. I couldn't what? pick just one. You've got to, otherwise, all of them die. Yes. Can't do that. Yeah, that's exactly how long, what happened. Let Jeeves pick whilst I think. I'll take him forever. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear the question. If you, if you could feed any animal in the world, what would it be? My sea monkey. Honey badger. Honey badger. What the bollock? What would you feed it? <laughs> because it would be the most terrifying thing you'd ever do in your life. <laughs> But what, what would you feed it? A politician? I have no idea. Anything it wanted to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Just release it in Parliament. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be so good, wouldn't it? Oh, release them. Sleep through that, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I, assume, I assume you are referring to Jacob Rees-Mogg sleeping on the fucking job when you say that mm. i'm i'm uh, i'm referring to every politician that's fallen asleep whilst they're using our tax money to pay themselves um God. happens far too often if anyone fell asleep on my job they'd end up losing their job that's all i'm saying jeeves yeah unfortunately i need jesus until i can find a replacement but <laughs> In in that position, when you were pretending to be asleep there, I don't think you ever looked more homeless. <laughs> <laughs> like with the full neck beard, uh, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Can you see what I mean? I like the way the beard covers all of his chins, not just the top one. <laughs> I was just growing mine down to uh, cover over mine. It's good. It's quite slimming. I like it. Got to lean forward though. Get back. Such a mess, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's our resident hobo, isn't he? Um, but would you would would you guys work on a, uh, um have you ever seen the Gold Rush show? Yes. I have, yes. Well, would you that interested Gold Rush? Uh no, I haven't, no. No. It, it, you, it doesn't interest you at all. No. I would rather do the um Australian land trains. Okay. 
I get that. That's they're interesting. They're they're like scary. They go really oh, yeah. fast. I'd I'd go for Oak Island. I'd do, I'd go out there and work work somewhere like that. There's a new season of that Mushi. It got released yeah. yesterday. I haven't seen any of the seasons. Well, you can probably skip them all and just go to the last episode of Series Seven, and it will tell you everything you need to know. Probably, yeah. And I've I've read loads about it though. When I was interested in all that sort of shit, I've, I've read up loads. It's mad, isn't it? That whole, do you know about? In person. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. So you broke out then, I couldn't hear you. Uh, the Curse of Oak Island. Have you heard of this TV show? No. Okay, shall I? Or do, no, Musha, you've read about it. You give it a little blurb. Well, I've, I've not really seen the show, but Oak Island itself is an island uh, in Canada, I believe. Near, near enough. Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Um, and on it, they are they found a, a sort of shaft... Uh, a man-made shaft it's clearly a man-made shaft um but this shaft seems to have been built designed and rigged to um flood and it's been booby trapped and it's basically proving very 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 difficult even with today's technology to excavate this site because it's just rigged so precariously to to collapse in on itself at any one point um, no one really knows what's down there. They've found a few artifacts and things like that, but they they don't know at the moment what's at the bottom of the shaft. And it, there's a few companies, I believe, that are vying to get to the bottom of it. Uh, yeah, they've made, they've made a TV show out of it. Um, and this, these guys, the, people have been searching on it for hundreds of years, but they keep finding really random shit in really random places like they dug they dug a hole and it's like 200 300 feet down they just got like this big drill and it's it's probably like two meters wide and they dug it all the way down and 200 meters underground on this island that is just it's water underneath because as Mushi said it's all built to um flood they're finding like logs that have been hand sawn um that 500 years ago there's like no reason at all why this shit should be down there how um, old is the shaft <clears throat> well the, the shaft incidentally the shaft mushi that's a, the shaft they found was an exploring shaft from like the early 1900s that's mildly documented but it caved in because they hit they got really deep and then they, they hit one of these flood tunnels and they just filled it with water and everybody died um uh, yeah, but they at the other side of the island, they've got these, um, I think they call them French drains, which is what's putting the water into the into this area. Um, uh, French drains are just like rocks laid on top of one another, uh, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it just allows the water to all pass through as well as the drain fields with. Um, and yeah, it, it's the most suspect place in the world it's it's so confusing and i watch it and i scream at my fucking telly every time i'm watching it because i'm just like just fucking dig the hole out get the gold mining people out there and just get the whole lot out you get a bunch of pumps you get some excavators you get you know uh, give it to parker schneebel off of gold rush they'll have that thing dug out in a fucking day he's a monster it's it, but yeah they, they keep digging down they found like fragments of bone two three hundred feet underground pieces of parchment bits of pottery stuff that shouldn't be that deep down on an island that has like no elevation at all it's mm. just crazy um and but it's so frustrating because they never fucking they find a little bit find like little bits of stuff but they never find anything like definitive there's like um uh freemasons uh, they've got that triangle and sexton thing there's like markings of that engraved into random ass rocks hidden all over the place. And someone went down a well in one of the early seasons and on the wall, just carved into the fucking wall of the well, there's like a sextant and a triangle. You know that? Do you know the shape I'm on about? Yeah, the Masonic yeah. Steel, isn't it? Thank you, Mushu. Um, yeah, that's just like halfway down a well. It's just so suspect. It's ridiculous. See, that, I hate that's... it. Uh, that's the sort of place I would want to go and see with my own eyes because you see it on TV and you read about it. And you're like, it's got to be, it's got to be less mysterious than they're making it out to be. But I'd love to go there and see. But I can imagine that it's not the sort of place I'd be able to leave. Yeah, I think that's what's happened to so many people. There's so much 
like a compelling like evidence if you will that something happened there um that they just get sucked in but i think what happened and my opinion of the show sorry people i'm going off on one ear but i think that's what i do <laughs> um, so maybe 200 years ago can't give you the exact figures or any of the names there was a black guy who was a slave and he won his freedom through the civil war i mean if you fought in the war you got your freedom after is that how it worked something along those lines i think yeah so he got his freedom and he bought a plot of land and by the time he died he owned like 10 of the 20 plots of land on that island so i reckon he found the treasure and then spent it all buying all the other plots of land over the years just like you know oh here's a gold coin here's another gold coin oh what should i found yeah found that i reckon he's already found and sold the treasure personally because it's his um the, the stuff to do with him is all documented i mean he already had some treasure and he found a couple of little bits and bobs over the years um, uh, but yeah, I I think that's what's happened. Um, uh, but it doesn't. I still can't explain that shaft that they've got, um, uh, or, or any of the other crap on there. It's just crazy. It's There's too much. I'm surprised you've never heard of it, so To be honest, it's right up your street. You yeah, know. it sounds it. Yeah, it's it's a cool show. I mean, <laughs> but if it it's on like season nine now, I don't recommend watching them all. I recommend watching the last episode of each season because it just gives you a recap of them doing nothing. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> and finding nothing um uh, yeah that, that'd be more than enough um, yeah. yeah yeah oh god i'm gonna put one of those on before i go to bed i think we've got a couple more comments just to get through we've got our um charlotte shepherd she's always always got lots of things to say um she wants to visit loads of countries which i really like that statement as opposed to just listing all the countries off i'm looking at you sophie um uh, just wants to visit lots of countries. Um, and she'd also I've like to learn... Iceland. Have you been to Iceland, Mushu? Yeah, I just thought you I'd... never mentioned just, it. I just thought I'd mention that since we're talking about going to countries. <laughs> I, to say, I don't think I actually mentioned like countries specifically. It was actual like places in countries I wanted to go to. That's just being super specific, Sophie. <laughs> Someone's facetious today, aren't they? Today? What? <laughs> Anywho, moving straight back onto that, she also wants to learn to ride a horse, a motorbike, really fast, and learn to play golf. I used to play golf. That's really? Stuff. Yeah. I quite like all of that. I mean, I don't really want to. I don't really want to learn to ride a horse. I don't really like horses. They're a bit big. But that's the list of a realist, isn't it? That that's someone. Yeah. Like, I've got my goals, I know what I want, I, they're achievable, I can do them, and that'll make me happy. Which I kind of, yeah. I like, but I'm a bit more of a dreamer. You know, I I want bigger things, which are you want eat- so achievable. Well, like eating pie in America. Well, <laughs> I mean, that might not be the best example. That I was thinking <laughs> of. But yeah, I mean... No, fair enough, fair enough. I, I just think it's a, that's quite a good list. That's, a, that's all I was trying to get across. I, I, I agree. Um, uh, I really do. Like, I know how to ride a motorbike, um, but and I have ridden a horse, but they're so big. They're so massive. Mm. And it's an animal. I mean, you don't really trust them, can you? Well, you see, I've had one experience on both motorbike and horse. Um, and same- both ended up very, very similarly. Uh, in the fact that the motorbike I went on, I, I was that kid. First thing I did was like, oh, what happens if you rev this? Fucking straight into a tree. Um, <laughs> wicked. Uh, on the upside, I was nine when I learned the benefits of crash helmets. So suck a dick. Um, yeah, and then the horse. I went horse riding with my family and my brother. I I didn't know how to slow the horse down and it started gaining speed and i started panicking and my brothers just looked at me dead dead serious and was like slow it down just click like that so i'm like oh yeah (laughs) no like with your mouth he's like just slow it down just click let it know that you want to slow down so i've sort of gone oh yeah yeah like that and it's just fucking hoofed it straight (laughs) off the distance i've just been (laughs) pissing himself in the background straight into a tree yeah wicked um (laughs) So yeah, both of those things. I've I've had a go. I've got no uh, desire to learn. 
I um, I've I've ridden a horse twice. Um, uh, once uh, once on the Isle of Wight, um, and I I fell off of it actually. It was just around um, you know when who used to, was it Christopher Reeves? Was he Superman who fell off a horse and broke his neck? Yeah, it was around then, and I fell off the horse, but I didn't break my neck. Um, uh, so suck it, Reeves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, I um. Uh, so I went to, oh God, I was in America um, in case I hadn't mentioned it. Um, uh, and they're really, they're so garish and horrible over there about things. I went to a single parents barbecue set up by a church specifically for single parents. And I mean, it was advertised all the way there. It was just like single parents barbecue, come this way sort of thing. And yeah, we went and I got to ride a horse and this horse didn't like being fucking ridden and it was it was in a big pen you know where they like attach a string to it and they sort of like whip its ass and they make it run around in circles to sort of tame it down yeah well they did that while my chubby ass was on it because it wasn't being controlled and they're like oh just hold on we've got to i don't know tame it or some shit like that and he starts whipping it on the ass and making it run around a fucking circle and i'm just shitting myself on this horse going round and round and round yeah, I haven't ridden enough one since then. It just, you know, it doesn't really do it. There's loads around where I live, and like, I like looking at them from a distance, but up close, I'm just like, you're big, man. You're big bastards. Yeah. Yeah. They are They are unnaturally big. I mean, I can assume, Sophie, you're probably quite good at horse riding, I'd imagine, because... I did used to ride, yes. Yeah, I used to ride Merida from Ray's cosplay. <laughs> Show horse? What do you mean, the ones that are like this? Shire horse. Oh, shire horses. You know, the one, the big um, cart yeah. horses oh, with the like, fluffy feet. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't trust them. They could eat you. They're massive. Yeah, I used to... I used to... They have good feet, though. Hey? They have got good feet, though. They look like yeah. they're wearing... Yeah, I used to ride... God, it was a few, fair few years ago now. I must be coming up for about 10 years ago, last time I rode a horse. Blimey. What about yeah. you, Jim? I can imagine this would be a no. Uh, I've ridden horses, yes. Oh, fuck me, we've all ridden a horse. Yeah. Who knew we had so much in common? Not me. <laughs> hey, uh, hang on, I can just see Andy. Like... <laughs> <laughs> who Who let you on a horse? <laughs> not telling you that. That's. Well, why were you on a horse? A lot of years ago, I can't remember. It was somewhere on the island. I, 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 but I did the same thing as what Sam did in the doing the circle with the rope. Uh, I, wanted with out, I wanted to go out, but I had to do do that lot first before I was allowed to go out. But, oh, uh, so you've never actually been out on a hack then? No. On a hack? Don't use your dick fucking lingo. <laughs> I remember some of it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember years ago. Do you remember when they used to do the travel uh, travel programs? I'm wonky now, aren't I? That's wonky. You're drunk. Yeah, well, I felt it a little bit earlier. I had a bit too, a bit too much of my coffee. Um, uh, I remember seeing a travel holiday where you could go down the Grand Canyon for, for like a week-long holiday, going through the Grand Canyon on horseback and camping along the way, sort of cowboy style. That looked pretty cool. But I think it would be nice if you had a bond with the horse, um, just because, like, like you say, they're big animals. And I know, I remember when I was on it, I was just thinking, I don't know this creature. This creature doesn't know me. At any one time, it could decide, like, you know what? Fuck this guy. And just hoof me off. And I, I'd have nothing to say about it. Um, but if you've got that bond, like, <clears throat> like the proper cowboys, they used to, the, their horses were like dogs to them, you know? Like, they, they were, like, literally a friend as well. Um, yeah. That would be kind of nice, I guess. But I'm not Maybe. a cowboy, and I don't have that bond with a horse, so... See, I have to say, I'm more scared of a Shetland pony than I am a Shire horse. Shetland ponies are vicious. You know, the little what? miniature ones that literally come up to just above your hip. Well, like little Sebastian from Parks and Rec. Yes. I'm just going to say yes, cause, but I don't know what you're on about. I'd have to say, Sophie, if I, I, if I paid for a pony trek and I got one of them, I'd probably <laughs> want my money back anyway. I'd be like, well, what's the point? Is I'm just literally walking with it between my legs. <laughs> 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 That would be amazing. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I, 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 I don't want. To, well, I don't really want to learn to ride horses. I don't know about you. No, not not massively. Uh, you know, if it happens, great. But yeah, 
I, I wouldn't mind it, but it's not something I'll go looking for. No, yeah, you, you don't want to race one then. You don't want to. With, with that, do you move? You don't, you, no, oh, oh, so we can't get in horse racing. The thing is, though, do you know? Do you realise the training that the jockeys go through for that? Not, well, not just the horses, mm. but the jockeys. The amount of track, like, they've got to be as light as they can. Mm. Well, that's but, me out. <laughs> That's what yeah. I was hinting at. <laughs> yeah, mate. I think I'm if rude. we were talking about ideal sports for Sam, uh, jockey, <laughs> jockeys, yeah, they wouldn't be anywhere near on on the list. Start. On the Start. Start. <laughs> so typically, typically, the height for a jockey is four foot ten to five foot six. That's well, nothing. I'm, I'm in that category. I'm five foot four. Yeah, but you got me really light. Yeah. Oh, I'm a good 11 and a half stone now. <laughs> James, what's the average weight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My fighting weight was 58 kilos. What's that in English? That is actually that is actually one of the questions on Google. Is what is the weight of a jockey? Well, they're tiny, though, aren't they? I watch the, um, I watch the Grand National every year. It's nice to have a flutter on the GGs. Um, uh, Devin yeah. Stone. Fuck off! Yeah, that's like one of my legs. Eight stones, my lightest. Uh, that's a, a seven stone for a race jockey. Uh, for a jumping jockeys, uh, they weigh about ten. Oh, I can. Oh, see, now, it's just my luck. When my plane crashes in the Alps, that I'll be on a plane full of jockeys, <laughs> and I'll just be looking at them and be like, "Oh, it's barely a snack on any of you." <laughs> Where's Sam when you need him? <laughs> Drop at a darts convention. This, <laughs> this, is, this is where uh, uh, Andy ends up in the town with a jockey on his back. <laughs> Master! <laughs> run, run. Oh, God. Um, uh, uh, right, comments. Last one. Uh, Vicky, actually, do you know what? I'm, v- Vicky wrote bucket list, a load of country she wants to go to, although it's got to be said, Chernobyl and Auschwitz. What's the German concentration camp? How do I say that right? Auschwitz. Oh. Auschwitz. Yeah, both of them amazing, and everything else uh, we've talked about. The sky. <laughs> yeah. or Actually, that, that's surprising that Chernobyl's not come up here because I definitely want to do that before I die. I don't know why it's not on my bucket list. <laughs> I uh, completely. I have. Like last year, you were well up for going, weren't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. To the I'm... point that you nearly booked it. <clears throat> I'm a very fickle person, though. I get ideas in my head and then I just lose interest in them and then I remember them and think, like, why didn't I ever do that? Uh, that that's basically my life. But, yeah, yeah, Chernobyl, definitely. Pripyat, I, all I, that sort of stuff. Oh, she, that's in there as well, but I couldn't say it. It was Pripyat and Chernobyl. Um, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I couldn't say it, so I just dodged over it. But yeah, I uh, totally agree. Well, Chernobyl's Both. just the reactor, isn't it? The Pripyat, yeah. the actual town near it that was evacuated. Now, which one is the one from Call of Duty with the fairgrounds? That's Pripyat. Ah, that's the one I want to go to. Yeah, but um, the Chernobyl reactor is right next to it, so... Have you seen the tomb that it's in? Yeah, I think it's incredible. We... Early one. It's mental, isn't it? Mm. It's put a whole lead casing around the whole thing. It's massive. Absolutely. Yeah. That should be one of the seven wonders of the world, in my opinion. Well, there we go. I mean, we don't know any of the other ones, so we might as well say it is. <laughs> this, this is where Andy goes to Chernobyl and comes back with an afro. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, I'd look well swanky. That'd be well good. <laughs> Disco stew from The Simpsons. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. No, well up for that. Well up for that. Um... The, uh, there was a um, show, Travels with My Father, with Jack Whitehall. Oh, um, they went to Chernobyl in that. Oh, it was so funny because he got food poisoning. He had to have a shit in the woods, and then the armed guards turned up and moved him on. <laughs> oh, poor Jack White. Oh, he's like 90, isn't he? <laughs> he just gets dragged on all of these adventures with his boy. He's just, well, it's Jack White, and then he's a bit of a knobhead. He's funny, but. <laughs> yeah, funny. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm well up for going to Chernobyl. That would be, that'd be wicked. But again, I don't know how long I'd want to spend there. Actually, it's probably perfect because you can't spend very long there, can you? No, not really. Well, no, I don't think so. No, I think, I think they do like day tours or something like that. But yeah, you can't go there so, for like so a month. Certain areas, if you're there longer than fifteen minutes, you're dead. 
Perfect. Yep, yep, yep. Send it all. Laters. Let's go. <laughs> Just run past. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly that. What, so, what was the other one? It's Chernobyl and what? Sorry, did she say? Uh, oh, Auschwitz. 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 Yeah, yeah. I mean... <clears throat> I, I want to go there less. Yeah, I've got mixed views on that. I think it's one of those sort of places that people should go. Um, yeah. they, they should probably visit it, but I'm very aware of what happened there. You know, I've, I've read a lot about World War Two, and I've, I've looked, at, uh, you know, it's quite a big thing for me. I, I know what happened there. I'm not sure if I'd want to see it for myself. See, mm. You strike me as a Holocaust denier, so I'm surprised about that. Nah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you say that? Yeah. <laughs> I've just goaded, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, no, I, I, like I say, I, I know what happened there. I don't think I'd feel the need to see it. And I think I'd be one of those people that if I did go, the moment I saw someone taking selfies or something like that, I'd be slapping phones out of hands, getting really emotional about it. Uh, I'm I'm happy knowing that it's there as a monument to what happened there. That's enough yeah. for me. Uh, fair enough. This has made me just think, um, I'd quite like to go to Alcatraz in San Francisco. Mm. That's uh, that hasn't come up, but I'd quite like to do the tour of that as well. Yeah, that would be quite good. Yeah, I mean, again, it's a quick one, isn't it? I don't want to go stay there on holiday or anything, but I'd, li- I'd like to do a ghost tour in Alcatraz. I reckon that would be really interesting. Is that a thing? Uh, are there ghost tours of Alcatraz? There has to be. It's got to be in there. Yeah, there has to be. Well, but I'd quite like to do that. See it at night time. Every yeah. character comes out at night. I think. Everything's just scarier at night. The ocean, everywhere. <laughs> what a comprehensive list. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to start listing them. And it's like, well, I'm literally just going to end up listting everywhere, aren't I? This, when you, yeah, when you precursor it with everywhere is scarier. The ocean, the fridge, you've got the forests, uh, up a mountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of places to list. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah, and the only place that isn't is the ocean when it's full of bioluminescent algae. Um, uh, that's and, a, probably the only place. And me and my speedos. Oh, now it's got scary all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, they I think, don't do a particular Alcatraz ghost tour, but they do a nighttime tour, which apparently has a very eerie feel to it. Yeah, yeah I imagine. Yeah, it'd be like Games Master, but more with more shower rape. Games Master, it was totally set in a place like Alcatraz. Yeah, I just really would hope that you don't get shower raped on the tour. I mean, how authentic <laughs> how, how authentic is this tour? And uh, if you look to the floor of the shower now, you'll see the soap. Could I have a volunteer? <laughs> That'd be good. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> no, it's just... just hear the whisper in your ear. Take a deep <laughs> breath. <laughs> I, it was that's uh, probably one of my favourite lines from the film The Rock, when he's talking about uh, when he gets older. He's like, "Well, shower rape's less of an issue anymore." Um, uh, you know, God rest his soul. Sean Connery died two weeks ago, didn't he? Yeah, he never yeah. met that. Oh, sad day, absolute sad day. He was a legend, that boy. And more annoyingly, is I had him in my death race a couple of years. Well, last year, see, season one of my death race that I was doing. And he didn't die. He waited until that season was over. It's very frustrating. I lost the money. <laughs> Wasn't happy. Anyway, moving on. Um, well, so we don't really have any more comments. Uh, should we just wrap it up then? Because it, yeah. uh, we, we can talk to our vast list of bucket lists, haven't we? Um, yeah. And then Jesus is. <laughs> <laughs> Is is built now? He's got at least two things he wants to do. Let's see. Uh, yeah. well, let's uh, no, now, now he's thinking about trips to tra- trips to dip himself in bioluminescent water, go and see the Great Wall of Pyramids and stuff like that. You know, <laughs> Great Wall of Pyramids. Yeah, he's got it all in his head. Yeah, lovely, amazing stuff. All right. Well, um, as always, please like and subscribe. And tell your friends. I'm now I'm literally just talking to Sophie. Tell your friends. Your friends list is massive. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, well, we'll see you next week. Yeah, thank you. you. Bye. See you later. Bye.